guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, I'm Patty. And on Mondays, I make gnomes. And on Thursdays, I do home decor. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. Today, I wanted to share with you how to make these super easy paper pumpkins. These are really strong. You can use them in a lot of home decor projects, a lot of craft projects. If you want to know how to make them, stick around. i show you how. Okay, for each of these pumpkins, you're going to need two pieces of eight and a half by 11 cardstock and a two and a half inch punch. And I'm just turning my punch over on the back so I can see and line it up because I want to make sure that I can get all 24 circles cut out of two pieces of cardstock. It just kind of helps you guide it a little bit better because you can kind of see where you're punching. And then just go ahead and trim off right at the bottom of the circle of the one you just cut and you can get your other four cut out of there. Next, I'm just going to take a paper cutter and I'm going to line two up together and I'm going to cut half inch off the bottom. So find exactly where your half inch mark is and just make sure that each one of these gets cut exactly in the same place. Now, if you don't have a punch or, and you have a um, cutting machine, I've given you the SVG file for that. You can just cut everything out with, um, with a Cricut, any other kind of uh, um, cutting machine that cuts SVG files. And if you don't have either, I've also included the PDF. You can cut these out by hand. It's really not that hard. Next, I'm going to take a scoring board and I'm going to put the flat part up against the top and I'm going to score each one of these at one and a quarter inches. And that's going to be exactly half of this circle. If you don't have a scoring board, you can just fold them in half. And if you have a bone folder, you can just kind of flatten them out with that. Just make sure you get each one of them scored. And then when we get finished scoring them, there's going to be the indent on the score. It is easy to fold backwards. So fold the indent part backwards. And then just start folding them and putting them in your hand. And then when we get them all put in, in your hand, we're going to go ahead and we're going to kind of squish them at the, at the folds just to kind of get them flattened out a little bit more. Okay, you can go ahead and just squeeze them down there at the bottom where the fold is. Put some pressure on those just to kind of get them flattened out a little bit more. Okay, next I'm using Tombow glue to start gluing these together and you're just going to start gluing them on top of each other. Just kind of make sure that they are lined up and if you have any excess glue you can go ahead and wipe it off. But just kind of check them every once in a while make sure they're lined up but you can cut you can go through this pretty quickly. Once you get everything cut out, you can probably put them together in about 10 minutes. Just keep checking them every once in a while while you're doing it just to make sure that they are still lined up good. Okay, I've also given you the pattern to cut out a leaf, or you can use a leaf punch if you have one. But we're going to take a piece of craft paper, and we're just going to cut a little square out of it, and then we're going to punch a hole with a, a hole punch in the middle, just a regular size hole punch. And then go ahead and cut a circle around it, probably about half inch from the circle, and just kind of do it wavy. Don't do it just perfect. And this is going to go on top of our pumpkin. And then you're going to take this piece of paper, and you're going to kind of wad it up because you want it more wrinkled. And then open it back up. And then next we're going to take our pumpkin. We're going to go ahead and close it up. So we're going to glue the two opposite sides together. And glue as close to the edge as you can on both of those. And then when you squeeze it together, just squeeze it and make sure you get all the way down to the center and squeeze it in there. You want to make sure that this gets sealed up good. Okay, next I'm just taking a little stick. And I'm going to put it right in the center. And I got these at Amazon. They're just some little four inch um, sticks that are about a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to cut it at an angle with my miter cutter. So it's about a half inch from the top. Then go ahead and just put hot glue all the way inside of there. Put that stick back in and then squeeze that pumpkin together to make sure, sure that, that all the sides connect to that stick. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the piece that we cut out of craft paper and we're going to put it over the top. 
And we're going to kind of squeeze it up a little bit and kind of manipulate it a little bit because we don't want it so perfect. And once you start putting your glue underneath there and everything, it'll start coming together for you. You just want to make it look more like the, a real pumpkin, the top of a real pumpkin. But once you get your glue underneath there, it's going to be a lot easier to, to put together. Just kind of flatten it on there and squeeze it up at the same time. Just kind of want it to make, make it look um, kind of wrinkly looking. Next, we're going to take our leaf and we're just going to put a score line right down the middle of it. Just take a ruler and run a score line right down the center. And then we're going to put some little veins on both sides. So just draw some lines. And then we're going to bend it at the score line and we're just going to glue it to our pumpkin. These are pretty cute little pumpkins. You could do a lot of different decorating techniques with these. I did them in a lot of different colors and I really, really like the way they turned out. Thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. If you like these kind of videos, be sure and give me a like. And if you want to see future videos, be sure and subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I have a new video, hit the bell. Thanks again.